One man following. Posse's probably right behind him. We'll split up and lose him. I'll meet you tonight. Marshal? This is one of the men who robbed the bank this morning. Let's go, Clint. We'll do all we can to help. I'm Deputy Lord. I don't want any of your help. It was something you ought to know. It wasn't just a bank robbery your father committed. The man they robbed was killed. Where'd you find the boy? He found me, standing over his father's body. I didn't find his partner or the money. No other family? No. I'll let him stay with Martha until Marshal Morrison gets back. Clint, we'll see that your father gets a funeral tomorrow. Let's go, Clint. Clint? I ain't going nowhere with you. I wish I 
father's taken you to a home where you can stay. You're not letting your father down by accepting a place to put your head. Flint, this is Mrs. Cominger. This will be your home, Clint. I hope you'll like it here. Why? So it'll make me forget what happened? Nobody wants you to forget. But I think it would be easier if you try to remember that your father chose a way of life that had to end the way it did. It'd make you feel better if I listened to you, wouldn't it? But I ain't accepting your alibis. I'm just remembering that you killed my pa. And don't think you can keep me here either. Nobody's gonna lock you in. Run if you like. But think first where you run to. Is there any place you can go? Think it over. Come on, son. Your room's at the top of the stairs. going to teach me. Dad could teach you. He's the best there is. Not only with guns, but everything. When I get my hands on one, I'm going to kill him like he killed my pa. You won't do anything of the sort. I'm going to tell Sam on you. Then you don't want to sit out. Same thing on you. Oh, oh, Clint! Oh, But he was gone. It's all right, dear. You go to your room. I'll take care of it. I'm sorry he hurt your feelings, but everything will be all right. All right, but I still think he's a bad boy. You go on. Come here. Listen to me, Clint. For as long as you're here, there's to be no more of that. Yes, ma'am. Maybe Tess said some things you didn't like, but there are other ways to settle things. You understand? Look, son, I'm just trying to make you feel at home. You're the one who'll be hurting if you push folks away. I ain't never gonna feel at home around here. So you can just quit trying. I didn't ask to be brought here, but I'm leaving first chance I get. Maybe even tonight. I hope you're not forgetting your father's funerals tomorrow. You. I want to stay in town. Oh, son, I don't think you should stay. Uh, Martha, let the boy do what he wants. With his father just buried, he has the right to be alone and think. Well, all right, son. What are you doing back in town? Would have liked to have been at your pa's funeral, Clint, but I couldn't take the chance. Where's your horse? Well, they got me living. Far? The Commenter Boarding House, Edge of Town. Tonight I'll come by, get you out. 
I suppose they found that saddlebag of money your pa was carrying when he was killed, huh? He's too smart for that. He hid it. I saw him hiding it from the door. As soon as we get our hands on that money, you and me's heading west, Clint. San Francisco, maybe. You sure we can get away without that Apache Marshal catching up with us? Sure. Someday I'm going to fix him good. And if you don't, I will. Clint, you and me's going to get that engine. The two of us. No chance of anything going wrong. That's what your pa would have wanted. Now, you do what I tell you. How come they let you walk around town without a guard? Well, you're looking for trouble, ain't you? Maybe. But I don't like outlaw kids any more than I like their paws. <laughs> <laughs> we ought to run you out of town. Ouchie. No. You're not me. No. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get Marshal! Wait. Give me the rock. He tried to kill me. I'll do it again. Give me that rock. You gotta lock him up. That's what you ought to do. Go on home, do you? You too. You would like it even with you. Go on. Clint, why did you swing at that boy with the rock? Things he said. I wish you would have done it with a knife. And I guess you had provocation. Is that your way of saying you're going to put me in jail? No, it means you had good reason. That makes a difference. You going to take my word? Shouldn't I? Well, sure, but I never figured you'd be fair. Marshal. Yes? I guess there must be a reward out for the man who escaped yesterday when, when my pa... Five hundred dollars. It's a lot of money. If I helped to find that man, would I get the reward? Now, if we're lucky enough to catch him, I'm sure I could arrange for you to get it. How can I be sure? You have my word. Are you sure you want to help me catch this man? He was your father's friend. He got my pa into it. I was there when they was talking about that bank holdup. My pa said it was too dangerous, but this man talked him into it. If it hadn't been for him, my pa would still be alive. I don't have to be loyal to him. Then you know where he might be hiding. Maybe. Where is he, Clint? I can't describe it exactly, but I know I can find my way there. It's about a two-day ride. What's wrong? I don't like you being alone. Well, how else could you find it? You're right. We'll start in the morning. Just because I'm helping you find that man doesn't mean I'm forgetting what you've done. I'm just doing it to, well, so that I don't ever have to see you again. You going someplace with him? He's taken me to pick up the other bank robber, he says. He's leading you? He's leading you, all right. Smack into an ambush, I bet. No takers, I'm sure you're right. You know, I got a good mind to send Morrison a wire. Make him order you to stay in town. But you won't. You're right, I won't. I guess you know what you want. Still probably making the biggest mistake of my life not sending that wire. Billy, I'm letting Clint believe that I'm taking his word at face value because I don't know any other way to get close to his father's accomplice. As well as get close to the boy.
Vince. Tess told me you wanted a gun. Catch. For me? Uh huh. I was big enough to handle a real man's gun. That's what he was waiting for. I well, can't learn to shoot with an empty gun. Now, let's see you hit that rock just below the log. That's easy. No, it didn't. But that's no disgrace. You won't be any good until you practice. Now hold the stock tightly against your shoulder. And squeeze the trigger. Don't pull. There'll be plenty of time for target shooting when we get back to Santa Fe. Unless you leave with the reward money. How come I can't shoot some more now? Well, we gotta start supper. Well, you're just saying that. You don't want me to get good. You don't trust me with bullets. I trust you with a lot more. If I didn't trust you, I wouldn't be here. What do you mean? I mean you could be leading me into an ambush. Of course, that's the same as shooting a man in the back. A coward's trick. <clears throat> Marshal! That time I would have caught it for sure. You're getting better, Clint. Better wash those plates. Yeah. I almost forgot about that. You gonna wash the gun too? Let me have it with real bullets in? Why? Oh, I think you can handle it now. Saddlebags. I better finish the dishes. Come on in from behind by going halfway up. I'll show you. No. As far as you go. Why? You've done your part. There's no reason to chance you're getting hurt. Well, I ain't afraid. I am. I'm afraid every time there's an unnecessary risk. Well, I ain't gonna stay here. Why, Clint? Why is it so important for you to be in on the end? 
It just is. I might get cheated out of the reward if I'm not there when you get Dan. No, you don't believe that. You want to cheat me. You're lying. Like you had to lie about when you killed my pa. You, you done it because you wanted to kill him. You hated him and you hate me. Have I behaved as though I hate you? You try to fool me with those soft soap and words. But I'm too smart to fall for that. You've been trying to trick me all along. <laughs> trying to make me forget about my pa. Now, you go right on up there. Then what happens, Clint? You'll see. Go on up. I know. We walk out into the canyon, and your friend Dan will be waiting to put a shot in my back. You're a liar and a sneak, Clint. Somebody who takes friendship and turns it inside out. You know all about things like that, don't you, Apache? You have all the tricks of an outlaw on your tongue and in your mind. You weren't born with these tricks, but you sure picked them up fast. It's gonna mark you for a quick and lonely end unless you do a lot of hard thinking about yourself. Don't move. Don't turn around. Put your hands up slow and easy. You did a good job, boy. Get his gun. You should feel proud, Clint. Go get your rifle, boy. Go on, get it! He's the one that killed your pa. You got a gun in your hand, go ahead. I'm letting you shoot him. Go on, boy. I'm letting you get back for your pa. What's the matter with you, boy? Buck fever? We're just plain yellow. Your pa wouldn't be waiting around if he were here. This Apache be laying dead with a bullet in the skull. You ain't nothing like your pa, boy. You ain't nothing like your pa at all. You said you want a revenge? I'm giving you a chance for it. Now get on with it! What I take it! I wish I'd have killed you like you told me to. No, you don't, Clint. You gave up wanting too long before he told you to do it. I think it was the hardest thing you ever learned. I know where the bank money's hid. I guess we better take that with us. I declare, Clint, you look good enough to become a general. It looks even better when he gets his uniform at the academy. Check it. You can learn how to play. And if you ever come back, then I'll beat you. <laughs> Someday I'll come back. Sure you will. And if I don't decide to be in the army, maybe I could be a deputy. Clint? I can't think of anyone I'd rather have work with me.
This has been a four-star production.